Welcome, guys. It's been a very long time. I think it's been over a year or even nearly two years since I made my last Matic Polygon update. In fact, we're very close to the levels where I originally got into this project, which was back here in between the prices of 35 to 38 cent. And I rode it all the way up here. And I was, in fact, making Matic videos up here at $2.90. And it was around this level over here in which we got out of Matic and where I stopped making Matic videos because we were calling for it to potentially come down to here, let alone coming back down to this, this price point. So we were just considering it being completed, the bear market over here, but we can see that it did actually had a lot lower, pretty much back to where I first entered after a 10X over here almost, and then returning 90% back down. That is actually pretty insane in the terms of, yes, we're so far away of what it was, but the fact that you're very close to where I originally bought, where we could have got a 10x over here, imagine in the upcoming bull market, whether we, it goes up from here or we continue lower and it eventually goes up. Imagine what it's going to do the next time round. We, we could even look at future bull market targets. Maybe the title will be the question of can Matic ever reclaim $3? Maybe that will be the title and already the answer would be yes. And we can in fact look for targets to the upside as long as 31 cent right here is actually the bottom. So now using these new sets of fibs, can you see how we reject, got rejected at the beginning of this year at $1.35? I know we went a bit above, but $1.35 at this golden pocket over here was our key level of resistance. In fact, guys, you could have come up as high as $1.82 and you should still be considered bearish with the chance of doing something like we saw over here for the remainder of the, uh, pretty much uh, this year, that we've what we've done this year. So we actually rejected the place that we need to. I know this sounds weird, but um, what is going on here is a dead cat bounce. So big dump down, big punk back up, and then trying to head back down to the lows. And then you're creating a descending triangle pattern over here that could potentially be going even, even lower because that's what it's setting up for. But what we're trying to do is invalidate all of that. So we're going to go through all of this today. Please do stay tuned. It's going to be very exciting. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing more Matic videos uh, following up if I do see some nice comments and some nice engagement. So let's get the likes up on this video. As this is my first video, I'm not going to be expecting a lot of views and likes, but let's attempt to get close to 50 likes if that is possible. It would be really appreciated. And yeah, share it if you can. So we got rejected at the point that we were meant to for the dead cat bounce scenario. It could come up as high as that, but you didn't need to in this case. And then it, the question becomes, where is that key level support? Now that we rejected here, and this is a push consolidation continuation, where is the next layer of defense? So we know that this is what's being, uh, this is what's essentially holding us up for potential higher low uh, somewhere around here uh, for another go at breaking past this, creating the reverse wave to eventually head to future bull market targets between five and ten dollars over here. But <laughs> let's not get too excited. So yeah, the question might have been, can Matic get back up to the top? And the answer is definitely yes. But let's now see this being held. In fact, if we do lose this. I know it will take a longer period of time to uh, bottom out if we do lose this low. However, if you do lose this low, you're going to have a deeper correction. You have a deeper bear market would then in, uh, allow us to have higher bull market targets. Look at the moment. Look at this. This is your minimum bull market target for Matic Polygon, $5.38. And if we dump down lower, you can see the minimum becomes higher and higher and higher. So I know that would be excruciatingly painful, but just understand that would be the case. Now, as we got rejected over here at the beginning of the year, we can see we've set a level of support with this wick and we've come back down to there like in the last uh, few weeks. So what I'm now going to do is measure from the low to the top of this dump, of this pump, sorry, and we're being shown the key levels of support. Just like I said at the top over here, the last layer of defense is that 786 fib. Well, we are finding support in between the golden pocket and the 786 fib. So for me personally, this is what's going to be acting as my key level of support. This whole entire area, we can make it more specific just so it's the 786 fib over here. But as long as we are maintaining this area, we have chances for a bounce to flip back bullish. However, what I would personally think is that any pump would just get rejected either at the 20 and the 55. Can you now see that this was our last high over here? Yes, you have one with the wick over here, but a very significant one is over here. And we can see that that 55, 
the the brick wall of the moving averages is below that point so it's already saying even if we pump up to there it would still be considered a lower high and eventual lower low so we need something very drastic to change this market back up into an uptrend so yeah we can actually over, uh, see over here if we keep extending this it was previous resistance uh, support over here we lost it but confirmed it over there so yeah it's the 786 between these two at 44 to 60 cent is uh, my point of interest uh, going forward for Matic Polygon and uh, if I then uh, go from this top to this bottom we can see it's telling us that this uh, 0.5 Fibonacci at 70 cent is very interesting is basically suggesting even a 20 cent pump would not be good enough to flip this bullish. It would just be running into key levels of resistance with potential for going lower. Now, what I want to do before we finish off this video is dive into what's going on in the immediate short term. So as we zoom in, and this is the five day time frame, remember, so very significant, very accurate, uh, it's condensing. We know that the daily time frame strategy is very key if you want to know where what's going on uh, the direct next day. We could get a big green massive candle or just any bullish, uh, like so for example here, we found a support at the support the direct next day. So this wouldn't have given you a lot of clues, just that this is your, uh, pretty much that this is your support right here. So a little layer of defense on this candle and then you've got a massive wick so we can mark the wick as we've done. You can see close below this purple box, this this close, and then you head over to the wick and we've seen that actually happening now. So look, we went below the, the lowest body candle close of this and then we confirm as resistance with that and then we head to this wick and we are still holding this. So it's giving us chances to return back up to there. Okay, I hope, yeah, I hope that was clear. But we can the reason why we're looking over here is because we're talking about bullish candlestick patterns on the daily time frame and the daily time Time frame is very significant so if this was the daily and we saw this bullish candlestick pattern you'd see that the direct next day you've got a big green candle now this is the five day time frame so it's even more accurate than the daily so we had that reversal candlestick pattern and look at that for a nice pump we can see that it did top out over here at 16 percent in a five day period so we're getting these big moves look at this one over here 17 percent not considering the high of the candle just the body so let's see how high it actually went 29 percent in a five day period so we can see that these are uh, candles that you cannot ignore and we are now seeing a loss of this support so you then consider this a higher low and are now going to be looking for divergences and remember we're on a higher time frame so something that we can uh, really cannot ignore so what we're now looking for is disagreements so we're seeing lower lows but over here we're seeing higher lows so this is a disagreement in the chart because the momentum is coming up while price is continuing down. So this would be considered a disagreement or a divergence, a bullish one. While price is going lower, this is actually upward trending. And if we now scale down to maybe the daily time frame, we can see some more divergences. Let me just get rid of this for now. We can see lower lows over here, while this is actually creeping up the momentum waves. So pretty much suggesting uh, that price should be uh, expected to get some sort of bounce over these next upcoming days and weeks. And we can see from that divergence right there, we have started to creep up. So the question becomes, where is the closest resistance point? And we can see that it's actually, well, of course the 20, but if we were to break through that, if this actually does work, continue to work, where's this going up to? So that would be considered the 55 on the daily time frame, which is sitting at 5733 in between the 6.5 and the 6.18 over here. Let me just show you where we got that from, uh, from this point to that point. So going back to June last year, to February this year, and uh, it's telling us that uh, the next level of resistance would be this golden pocket. Remember, we need to reclaim this, guys. We need to reclaim this because again, this massive purple box here, again, is our final layer of defense. So. Uh, this is what's holding us up as support so we need to see a break out of this area to just confirm it was support and we're now going on an upward trend because remember guys as this is our final layer of defense we're trying to uh, invalidate the reversal wave so that's by climbing back above this and going on an upward tra trajectory because this was the move we measured this is where we're dumping to before continuation higher so that's why we need to see moves like this holding this area climbing back above the 0.5, which is also the 200 EMA, basically flipping this into an uptrend and then going on that original bullish path. Because right now the suggestions are you could be getting rejected over here 
and then rolling over to create that reversal wave. You could be coming up as high as the 0.5 and still being in the downtrend as we are under the 200 EMA and then continuing with your downtrend. So there are the signs there for continuation lower. We now need to see Polygonmatic breaking past the golden pocket uh, like this. Okay, I'm basically reclaiming that 200 EMA. Uh, however, we know that this is the key level of resistance that we're struggling to tackle. So if we do get rejected now and lose this 5059 area, which is this yellow line holding us up. So we do have the bullish divergences. This will give us the pump. We just now need to see the pump break above this golden pocket, 5820, and then we'll get this pump towards 70 cent. And if this fails to break above 5820, 58.2 cent, then we just do continue rolling over to that 786 FIP. And on the loss of that, that is the reversal wave being confirmed and then we could be looking at matic polygon actually going below 30 cent all the way down to 20 cent now i'm just the messenger it's not what i want but i'm going to relay those messages that i'm getting from the chart and it's nothing that i want personally again like any crypto as we invested we want it to go up but we know we need to be uh, aware of all the possible scenarios. So there's no point in just saying it's only going to go up when there could actually be downside coming. So as long as I show you've got no guilty conscience, and again, I am just a messenger. It's not what I want. It's just what I'm what I'm being shown. And I'm just relaying those messages to you guys. And hopefully you find value in that. And if you want to learn to do that on your own, so you don't need to watch these videos, then go ahead and take action on that one-to-one -one mentorship plan. For the next three people, it's going to be 25% off. You're going to get the five to ten hours of one-to-one -one help so there's two payment or there's two options a cheaper one and a more expensive one depending on how long you want but with both of these options even if you just took action on the course and you do that in your own time you have that for life and it's six hours long with all of these options you're going to be getting three months free in my discord and every week we do two group calls basically teaching you guys how to trade so on top of the course on top of the mentorship you're going to get further mentorship as a group and all these other students that are learning from me and other other sources come and share their ideas so we build even more bulletproof strategies so yeah i'm going to be teaching you all the entries exits take profits stop losses and all the things you need like a, a cheat sheet is going to basically tell you all the things you need to enter a trade and if they don't all appear we're not entering the trade because Again, the more trades you open, the more likely you're going to lose. So the less trades you open, the less likely you're going to lose. So by protecting your money, you're going to end up making money. And it's a weird concept, but with the risk to reward ratio of minimum three to one, you can allow more losses than wins and you still come out profitable. So if this is something you want to hear more about, something you want to be part of, click those links in the description. Message me on Twitter if you want to find out more. Otherwise, you can just go to the website if you want to join the chat or the course. If you want to do the mentorship plan, message me for that 25% discount for the next three people. So please do get them while they do last. And then, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the mentorship sessions over these next coming months. Cheers.